Me too. Oh, I yeah, I mean, I, 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 you gotta go. Uh, so Alfie goes over to the Echo here. Echo Tracer. I mean, uh, Tracer's always been uh, like pretty good against like some of these aerial comps, right? Because if they get a little bit close to the ground, you can just kind of like clip them out. But I mean, we've seen them uh, try the Tracer like a few it. times, and Alfie was not able to make it out of spawn. This is a Nano here uh, onto Pelican as he's just now juice of damage boost nano as he's trying to take alfie out of the sky it's slept here nice there and they finally finish him off yeah they got both of them too that's that's filthy great sleep i mean teru stepped that up in a big way but alfie is kind of freelancing on this echo a little bit right no pocket but that's not really required echo operates so differently to farah farah is that damage over time really over a longer team fight and and you know you're able to put a lot of pressure down get a lot of damage echo is get in get the job done and get out with that burst damage and i mean yeah that was that was a masterclass from Alfie. I, I like the swaps here, though, from the Outlaws. Uh, the Farah is way harder to get value out of, like, when you're attacking the point as opposed to, like, having control of it, right? Like, yeah. you have control, you can just kind of, like, shoot through some of these choke points, Ooh. right? Just play for that as uh, Javi gets a stick there on Alfie's. This may go to the Outlaws rather quickly, but uh, good call there from the Outlaws, making that swap up, not kind of relying on the Farah, even though it was working out pretty well. Yeah, no messing here. Pelican Sombra. Obviously well equipped to deal with Echo if she gets too close to the ground. She'll be afflicted with the reverse Icarus curse. And Alfie you're getting just kept very low here. Happy choked to steal the health pack away. And in fact he did, but Alfie he still had the damage. The burst was sublime. He had recall up as well, just didn't get it off. As well, as soon as the hack comes in, it's actually Alfie who ends up using the duplicate uh, just to turn into the Kiriko here, just to try and stay alive a little bit. They still have the point though, Houston. Great stall up to 95. Sheer weight of ultimates just bearing down upon them in that fight. Zune Rush was used their sound barrier. A lot to deal with. How do you play around this EMP here, if you're the Justice? Because uh, really, EMP, Kitsune Rush, like, using those, trying to, like, finish this off. Uh, can you maybe bait Mirror here uh, and then Nano him, trying to keep him up? Uh, it'll be the Kitsune Rush here for the Outlaws on the point, and they Nano Mirror early. Yeah, just like you just like you drew it up there, Matt. The Nano boost on towards Mirror to keep him alive. EMP came after the fact that it's going to be nothing but a trade for now, but the later Nano, Fearless is the, la the literal last player you want to face off against under these conditions. Mirror has no choice for him, but... Yeah, he's gonna have to try and group up with the Justice, have one more crack at this. The Outlaws are back in control with a Pulse Bomb ready to go. A mirror overextended and hit mm. with the bio is down. I mean, he needed to get the touch there, but just jumps onto the point, gets hit with a Biotic Grenade. He didn't even have anybody else in terms of you know, line of sight able to heal him. FT God now trying to stay on the point with some healing help from Teru, but it does not look likely that the Justice are gonna be able to flip it. He wanted a Pulse Bomb there, but his target evaporated into a red mist. The Houston Outlaws, okay, they've woken up a little bit here. Slow to start, to be fair, but the Sombra composition, the switch off the Farah, yeah, it's all been in their favor. Further stall from the Washington Justice here. Eventually, this will be put to bed. That overtime ticket can only last for so long. And let's get the Justice in this round. It will be the Houston Outlaws taking Li Zhang Tower. In the end, it's pretty convincing. We saw some good signs here from the Washington Justice. It's about maintaining that moment. His time on the shock, especially, so keep your eyes peeled. I'd say, though, there's lots of good to take here early on uh, from the Justice. Like, uh, Mirror playing the Winston, right? You would have said the, the, their strength is probably, you know, Mirror on some of those, like, kind of, you know, classical off tanks and Ben Best on, like, the Reinhardt or, uh, you know, maybe even the Winston. Uh, but to see Mirror come in here and play the Winston against uh, such a talented team and play it quite well. Uh, you know, not, not kind of getting, like, picked off or caught out or, you know, taken advantage of. Uh, another good sign for the Justice. I wonder what they do about the Pelican Echo. Something that gets brought out on occasions such as these. Happy wants to try and keep Flora quiet so we can't line up and draw a bead on this Echo at all. And the, the Justice have been forced back to the periphery already. It, it's a really difficult target, obviously, for the Hanzo to hit. Uh, the Echo up in the sky can put some pressure on the high ground. I also think, like, it's really, you know, can you put some damage down onto Mirror and make him, I uh, you know, punish him, really, uh, for kind of playing in some oh, positions exactly like you just saw there. Uh, so not a great start. They get FD God, that's like a Hanzo with fearless damage uh, at the start, and then uh, Pelican able to burn down Mirror with that focusing beam as he's trying to get up to the high ground again. We see how challenging it is for Terra to find a sight line on Mirror. As soon as Mirror drops off the point, especially after FD God just 
just dies as a result of that dive. Terry knows if he peeks, he might, might just get his face blown up by you know, Hanzo or something similar. Speaking of which. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, Flora actually just takes Shu out as he's probably just looking through the choke, uh, trying to make a play. But there was Fearless like up in that window, right? So what does Teru do? Like he can't like wrap all the way around to the opposite window. He has no sideline. Like if he peeks he that main no... window, he just dies to, he literally just dies to an Echo or a Hanzo. Yeah, uh, or, or he just kind of sits up there and Fearless just kills him slowly, Ooh, right? It is uh, okay. Flora now, two really good pickoffs in a row. I mean, that kill unhappy. Really takes so much pressure off this back line. These Alpha E free to be a loose end. Doesn't want to overcommit though. As the he heard is Happy coming for him. He didn't want to like kind of push in and have Happy be right there. And that's uh, what's dangerous about the Echo. Pelican gets up in the sky. Fearless on the low ground puts in some damage and that focusing beam. Oh, just so I mean, again, deadly. Mira, that's another hard sideline for Teru to play. Mira is on obviously on the attacker side of the map in that window. He's hoping for the Ana to shoot him a couple times. I'm oh, sorry, Pelican, that's just a little bit wrong. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, bro. Like you can't be there's doing no this way to keep, my guy. No way to keep these players alive. Like how do you how do you burst heal them fast enough to to not allow the focusing beam to just kind of insta kill them, right? Yeah. Um it, it becomes very difficult to deal with. Not many teams go for this. Even Atlanta Rain, right? They we haven't really seen them. Uh, or, or rather, excuse me, the uh, the Defiant so much. Uh, you know, with someone like Speedily. Uh, the Outlaws able to get away with it here. And again, it's not really hit again, favored meta. As has been discussed already, Pelican gets another one. The Sticky Bombs claim they're targeted. Just Terry waltzes and hatches that Pulse Bomb like an egg. Oh, I think it's going to be so a tough bad. road here for the Justice, Matt. They are in trouble. Uh, and I think like one of the keys as well is that they're, they're allowed to go in and uh, be this aggressive as... Uh, uh, Oh yeah, boy. the cart's just rolling on in. But uh, the Outlaws, it, it's really the supports, right? Like, decided that first checkpoint as the Outlaws get a hold. Looks like Violet there with the boop. I think everyone calling C9 in the chat, but I don't know if that quite satisfies the condition. Regardless, <laughs> for the Washington Justice, that was painful, right? They actually start a few of these fights off at a player advantage, and somehow Houston are able to even the ledger almost instantly in many cases. We thought they were done. Uh, in that sort of second to last fight, Shu unable to keep Fearless alive, but all of a sudden, two players come back off spawn. Shu still has an Ant Matrix to work with, and the Justice are cowering. It's the uh, it's that old Dallas Fuel slash Shock type of you no. Know, they they consistently win these fights a player or two down. They always seem that like oh this this fight's unwinnable, and it is winnable, right? It's uh. But you have some of those players uh, from these rosters on there. Maybe maybe that's really it. Is uh, it's a Violet with a nice boop here. We'll take a look as this, this is the, the sound barrier. Oh, yeah. It's... Boom, baby. That's the Annihilation rolling right on the other side of that, too. I mean, that's, uh, that's a rough spot to be in to have to use it. That's painful stuff. Okay. Ooh. Zinya. Okay. Zinyata on attack would be fun. The Outlaws, though, they have a decent buffer to work with here. Uh, pretty scary for a Matra. So for anyone ready to deal with that Discord orb, go for it. Show us something uh, a little bit special. I wonder how it plays into like a, a, a full a spawn hole here, a spawn camp, rather. We're about to find out, I guess. I mean, well, you just got the, the Discord orb, right? Lay it down, just collapse on a target. Maybe they're looking at Teru. Maybe it's FD God. Uh, we'll see. There's a biotic grenade. It connects with Flora and Mirror. Terry and the sleep over. here on the Terra right away. Oh, Just that over. is. Well, it this didn't is... even really start. This is long. <laughs> like, I mean, it's over. This it's hasn't been really a fair deep. fight in a little while. Yeah, we are. We are in full Bing chilling mode. Pelican is having the time yeah. of his life. Yeah, P Pelican always looks to be having just a ton of fun uh, in the server. It may just be cheering on Violet as Violet brings out the Zen here. <laughs> is, uh... You ask, why do people smurf? Exhibit A. Exhibit A, Matthew! Yeah. Have too much fun! Violet finally goes away from Zen. Realizes not the answer. <laughs> right. Still uh, invested in winning the map here. Violet has to Suzu oneself. Flora being warded away, you'll get the trade. Okay. We're not what he's looking for, though. Maybe would have preferred to be able to offer some of that defensive utility to Fearless, especially, who's forced to jump away. Hey, two minutes 42 on the clock. Plenty to work with with Houston. 
Yeah, and uh, Houston's going to have a nano here, so you can nano Fearless with an EMP to kind of follow that up. Could be what seals this series in favor of the Outlaws as a uh, shot there goes into FD God. Tim a little bit weak, the cleanse here to help Shu stay alive. And when the nano goes through on Mirror and he pushes in, they're going to nano Fearless. The sleep goes right on a mirror, so not going to get a ton of value out of that. No, I mean, they've been crucial. Mirror doesn't use the Annihilation before the sleep comes out, so there is that at least. However, uh, you really need to wait and try and keep your Amatra topped up. The mirror doesn't really have that, so another Nemesis transformation, though, will yield him that extra armor. Losing Shu, not ideal, but there was a Kitsune Rush in play for Violet. He's an EMP. Going to be pretty bad for Pelican now. Can only sort of uh, dodge around. Oh! And he's able to find the deflect just in time. Alfie gets bisected. And they go get Mirror. They double back and they go kill Mirror. And now they're going to push up. This is Hive Mind play from the Outlaws here. They're making some very quick rotations, Matt. Hard to keep track of. And especially if you're the Washington Justice right now. FD God is done. Blade going to be connecting with him. Flora forced to translocate out. Uh, at risk, of course, of being hacked himself, and it would have been deterministic from there. Alpha Yee's dancing. Mirror's been taken down already. Fearless wants to extend that advantage, and they'll get there. The Houston Outlaws make it convincing. There was some resistance, some, from the Washington Justice at the start of this series, but that crumbled soon after.